And uh, we are live. Let me refresh this thing. Make sure you can see us and hear us. Make Yo, sure there's no e test. How are you guys doing? Make sure no echo sound. Everything looks good. Sounds good. All right, let me put this here. Lucky on three legs. What's up, Josh Leva? Uh, let me see, Rory Matt. Oh, Rory Matt missed a live show last week. Good to see B and Leva at Sneaker Con Dallas. Yo, 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 <laughs> Rory. Man, fresh. Like, I didn't, I didn't get. Oh, I met a lot of people, but I'm assuming Rory was one of them because some of them are like different usernames. So, mm. but definitely saw Leva. I mean, I recognize Leva because I've seen him again. So. LA Gonzalez, Dapper Fanatic, RJ Funky Finds, Pacers. Pacers at Burlington heating up with the expensive prices. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let me see. And Palma, Mendez Finds, Sneaker Flip Find, Damodrick. Oh. What's up? There is from uh, Whatnot. Appreciate it. Hustle in oh, silence, oh, my so. boy. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know I know who, who Rory is now. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, because of the selfies. There we go. Mm -hmm. Ross Shallington on his lunch break. Danny. And Palma, I feel like there's a ton going on. There is a ton going on. And from news, from sneakers, from... So we're going to start off light while well, people aren't in... A lot of people aren't here yet. <laughs> and then we'll get into the meat. So let's start off light. Just some of the new stuff that's coming out. See what you guys think. See what B thinks, more importantly. Right. All right, so here we go. Man, Nike's already ready for Valentine's Day. Oh. Look at that. A little up-tempo. <laughs> so a uh, little, I guess, like, what, pink shaggy suede with a brown, what is that? Dark pony, soft pink, coconut milk. <laughs> These guys. Oh, just call it burgundy. <laughs> I mean, I think the color combo is I think dope. It's Right, there's just no need for this shoe. Is is this yeah. color combo? But the combo is dope. Uh, Tony says Glenn looking crisp. That's oh. the best I can. I can't get to that B level, but <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> hey, at least doing his best. <laughs> uh, just in time, cooking dinner, Mister Eric David. What's up? What's for dinner, Eric? Yeah, what's for dinner, Eric? What are you making us? Yeah, Danny, I have to get a new mic because you know we're doing this podcast thing. Mm. And, you know, I have this little effects button, too. So if Glenn's slacking, I got the. Oh, man, that guy's quick. this is get even quicker on the <laughs> on the sound bites. Next one, LeBron. Next gen, I promise. Where's your sound bite? Drunch. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's not too bad. So mismatch I color blocking. I promise. But Wait, so this is like the Flynet, the Flynet color. Um, the I guess so. Let me see. Uh, mismatch shoes. Let's see. Mesh base, suede overlays, dual swooshes, full length air zoom unit. It doesn't say anything about Flynet. It looks like it kind it of doesn't look yeah. like the original one, right? Yeah, looks a little different. What do you think about the mismatch shoes? Do you like? Don't like? Oh wait, there are two different shoes. Well, there's this mismatched. Oh. So you get like one orange, one blue. Well, the thing is, why does it look like Oklahoma colorway? Kicklahoma colorway. I don't know. Yeah. That's weird. You would think it would be like Lakers colorway or something. No, we're not talking about Lakers right now. Uh, Big Money Mo, what's up? LeBron's fourth line? Yeah, I think so. So since, since it is different, the next gen. Broadway B. Uh let me see. Yeah, no hustle and silence. Let me see. Mismatch is nice, but these ain't it. Okay, next. Black taxi. Is there a need for this? Black wow. taxi. <laughs> wow. So it looks just like a Photoshop of like the Michigan 12s. It does look that like that. No leak photos have surfaced, but this offering of the Jordan 12 is expected to be an all black upper pair of the taxi accents. Meh. I mean, <laughs> it's not. I don't know. It's not bad. 
I think this is cleaner than the other Flint. stuff they've been releasing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the what was the reverse Flint or the smoke gray 12, something like yeah. that, right? This one's better for sure. Man. Oh, sneaker pickers. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, let me see. In a hotel. Hopefully everything's good with the family. Uh, oh, hustle beat colorway. It says too legit. Would you rock these? Mm, no. No. Okay. No. No need. Uh, what about what about a pumpkin spice on the Jordan One Low? <laughs> this looks like a basketball. Basketball texture. Like that is true. Is that women's called? Yeah, uh, it is women's. Oh, One twenty. Like, like for some reason, I could tell it from the shape. Yeah. De- uh, so women's one twenty. Uh, they call in this one a uh, sport spice <laughs> instead of a uh, wow. It's like a basketball shoe or in a pumpkin spice, right? Yeah, sport. pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice jays, just leave. Yeah. I'd rock those too, legit. I mean, they're a little late for Halloween, though. Yeah, they are a little. You know what? These are already released. Like, oh, they did? No, they should have already. Oh, released, I know. Like you said, <laughs> yeah, this is super late. It doesn't even say. This is twenty twenty two. Uh, uh, I mean, uh. Damon Drake said, nice Longhorn shoe. I giggled because I was thinking of the Longhorn restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Longhorn restaurant. I was like, Texas Longhorns. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, this boy ready for dinner. I'm ready for dinner, too. Next one. So what do we think about uh, Across the Spider-Verse? I mean, these are mock-ups. <laughs> that's what i think that's what he thinks i, I like sound bites because i could just show my feelings and emotions yeah, you don't you don't even have to here. talk about to, like them. i don't talk about them yeah exactly i mean obviously the other ones the uh, other spider-man ones were different cleaner look more like a chicago one uh but this one if like, it even looks like this, remember this is a mock-up, so we don't even. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, it's mesh or something like that. <laughs> like, it, it. yeah, I mean, like, if it had a blue swoosh, it went with the theme, right? True. Like this one is like, like a mid. It's like the mid scholarway turning. Yeah, Spider Man. True. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, so let's get into news. I know we're waiting around. Let's talk about it. We're not talking about Kanye yet. We got to talk about backdooring. Mm. So, lost and found ones. Now, this photo obviously had been going around Twitter and everywhere else for a while now. Like full case. Yeah, <laughs> full case. Crispy box. So, it's. I don't think it's a reused box either. Oh, no, no, no. This is straight from... So, oh, that, oh, that new select goods. So backdooring. Now, interesting enough, we talked about lost and found ones, and you were saying what you believe resale value is going to be, and and now we're getting closer. Me and Mo wanted to pay four to five for personal. I was okay with paying that. But what did we say resale you thought it was going to be? I don't remember. Eight? Right there. No, four, five, 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 five. five, around five, yeah. I think five seven five to okay. seven if i remember correctly i think people said it was going to go 350 i don't think that's the case okay so we shall see so right now now i remember i i sent i, I sent you a text or dm or something i was like hey look at the price going yeah. down on these bad boys yeah and you were telling me because like on whatnot people selling early pairs or overseas mm-hmm. pairs wherever they're getting from they're selling at like eight nine hundred yeah 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 like like they were hurting when they were selling it at that price. <laughs> They're like, oh man, that's a steal. Yeah. Letting yeah. go too cheap. Yeah. And then now we're at 500 range. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe earlier, I mean, 12 and 13 were like, it's still at like at 620. Yeah. Now they're like down out. to 549, 560. Um, looks like smaller sizes right yeah. over five, 510. So, do you believe we're getting down? You you'll see the three fifty four range, four hundred range. At at this rate, right? Three fifty four to four fifty might be it. 
<laughs> like on the week of right like and that's like low for a very high expected jordan right like from the hype that i've seen pairs sell for 1500 mm. to like now this is probably like the biggest drop i've seen of like a highly coveted shoe right because like We've seen it on like Travis Scott and stuff like that, but it never really went that low. I mean, like the drop was not, you know, 70% off or 60% off. I think we're underestimating how many pairs are going to be released. <laughs> that too. I mean, if the stories are lining up, right? One is why would they be talking? About, I mean, like, you know, like, I always look at it like some of it is kind of like half truth, right? When they say like there is the most uh, release pair or there's going to be the same amount like the cool gray, something like that. Uh, I've heard it's going to be made the same factory and that same factory would only produce this X amount. There is some, you know, some some facts into it because like obviously like I think knowing that finish line is getting pairs yeah that well a lot of people are saying finish line already has them i mean the finish line is yeah. ready to go yeah yeah i mean that's a, some of these back doors probably got also mm-hmm. coming yeah. from too <laughs> yeah so i uh, like yards off saying fake pairs i mean there's a lot of pairs that are already in store that are already yeah. waiting for release so there's a lot of backdooring already has been going on mm-hmm. and I don't know how many are going to be released. I mean, there's been projected numbers and be like the biggest release, yeah, big GR, all of that. So, yeah, talking that's about what I think it's going to go down. Too, like, I think when backdoors happen when it gets to the boutique, that's not really like, you know, like that's not checked, right? For example, like you got Foot Locker finish line, like obviously they have to answer to original manager True. or something like that, right? But if it's like a boutique and then a boutique has let's say a thousand pairs of allocation they could leak out 200 and sell it for high back door and still have a drop on release day and nike doesn't really audit it to that t do you think they would or not i mean they said they're gonna stop resellers i don't know yeah. that's uh, what yeah, happened, exactly, what happened? Right? like what was that <laughs> statement about <laughs> this <laughs> happened right yeah like trophy room right like exactly uh, let's see, Big Money Mo says finish line by us back door 85% of the pairs, no questions asked. So, yeah, yeah, I'll, <laughs> well, that's I think that's a known fact. Finish line really don't like they don't have they don't hold anything. I mean, like, I've seen it done, it's bad. Where resellers don't even go to our finish line anymore. That's really hilarious. When uh, finish line and um, what was that other sneaker one sneaker store? Um, DTLR. Oh, we don't have one of those. Um, oh, Shoe Palace? Yeah, Shoe Palace. Oh, it's yeah. hilarious when they're like, put your name on this paper, and then uh, you'll put it in this bucket, Yeah. and uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna draw names on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, for damn we'll sure, we'll draw names. Right. <laughs> we'll call you. Yeah, they'll draw your name, and they'll check it out for you, and without you knowing. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, yeah, so-and-so won. They already picked yeah. up their pair. Yeah. When was that? Uh, it's easier for boutiques to leak it early, harder for foot sites, but they're all still back door. Sneaker flip yep. line. Kevin, what's up? Uh, let me see. Let me go back up. Oh, like trophy room, dapper fanatic. Uh, let me go back. Let me see. Intramorph dropping faster than the stock market on the lost and found. So, yeah, I'm curious. I want to see what really happens. Just kind of follow it. I might make it my house shoes for a while. Just flex in the house. Just break it in the house. Like, I mean, three fifty. How many pairs are you gonna get? <laughs> All them plays wearing the pairs that drop day at Shoe Palace. Well, we're almost there. So I guess the official release. We're south uh, down. Get to one to rock, one to stop. Let's see, there we go. This would be the issue. So November eighteenth, we'll follow it. I'm pretty sure Twitter will follow it. IG will Man, follow it. Wait, wait, wait. Everywhere. When is November eighteenth? Let me see. About three weeks away. I'm in town. Crap. <laughs> I'm out of town. I'm dead. Ooh, B's out of town. Yeah. 
So there we go. Uh, economy is tanking so bad, says, it says Eric D. I was watching a video about um, NFTs and how they've dropped like 90% and right. and that whole that whole thing. But I mean, kind of like we were talking about whatnot. It's just so crazy from 2020 to now, just how much like get rich schemes and ripoffs and all of these things have come into play. And even leading into now, like our Kanye news, so many things have changed and they're continually going to change. And now we're going into 2023. This year's going by quick. So now into Kanye, which now you said you didn't really know because people were asking you on whatnot and when you did your podcast and yeah. you're like, well, I'm not really following a whole lot into it. What's yeah. been going on? Um and of course, we've been getting the questions too. Like, are Yeezys going to be at Burlington? Are they going to be at Ross? What's going to happen now? Um, so this is a huge deal. Obviously, what's been going on with Ye right. and the things he's been saying. And um, so, what have you got- gathered? So, I mean, a lot of it comes down to anti-Semitic things that he's been either saying or hinting on, or things like that when he's been doing interviews right. and. But the thing is, he's been trying to get out of Adidas, which I feel like for a while now, right? right. Him and he's been showing Nike shoes or calling yeah. out executives and all of yeah. these things with the brand. So for him to get out of it, it was almost like he was tempting them. It was like a reward, that. right? Pretty much. Like I can, he's pretty much saying, like, I can say whatever I want and they're still not going to drop me. Yeah. And then now they dropped him. Uh, which is a big blow to not only him, but more Adidas than anything uh, because of how much money they bring in from selling Yeezys. And, but, but here's you know, the crazy part. They said only 8% of Adidas sale is from Yeezy line. 8%? Yeah. I don't believe that. I don't know if that's true, right? I don't believe yeah, I don't believe that at all. Yeah, like where's like the other 92%? I mean, <laughs> I guess a bunch of like basic Adidas sweatpants. <laughs> NMDs? Yeah, so I mean maybe know. I mean I guess from maybe from the big perspective with them being, you know, so huge in like soccer kind of realm. Probably. I mean, I could, I could see that, um, you know, soccer jerseys into apparel, into s- cleats and all of that. But to say only 8%, I don't know, from, from the whole Yeezy brand, Dame, Dame fans, <laughs> sneaker play <laughs> fine. <laughs> Harden. It has to be Harden. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me go back up. Not true. It was 68% said Yars Law. Uh, turned okay. down my sketches today. So I did see that. Yeah, Adidas more Europe. So more of the soccer, more of the out of the country. Yeah, that somebody kind of thing. said uh, the sales uh, for Adidas Yeezy grew 31% in 2021. So mm. yeah, that, that's not true. That that 8% wasn't true. but So they terminated the partnership on Tuesday. Um, and we saw other brands or other other, uh, things that he works with on as well with like gap and um, athletes leaving his uh, what was that sports kind of oh yeah he does as well sports management system yeah I mean uh, business or something Uh, mile high what's up so a lot of things are changing and I think in the end people were kind of like well you know what's going to happen with the shoes and we saw foot locker foot action also pulling any Maybe shoes or Yeezys that they had on shelf or maybe future releases. So now those won't be out. Um, Which going into, of course, the reselling part of it is like, where are the sneakers now? Should you hold? Should you sell? Does it matter? Um, Now Yeezys, like the 700 or some of the other ones, haven't been moving anyway. Trash to begin with. They haven't been moving anyway. Um, Obviously slides have been doing really, really well. Um, looks like some of the 350s have been going up, so it just depends. Uh, let me say, got offered a hundred for a new pair of 350s on eBay. No matter, oh wow, expert. I think people <laughs> are thinking that nobody wants to represent him now. True. So, have you gone through any of the current shoes to see what's been going on? 
I'm not not really. I oh, haven't. Okay. I've, I just seen a screenshot. Do you have any Yeezys in inventory? I I actually got one today, and it's the Turtle Dove. Ooh. Oh, okay. So you're planning to hold? Oh, I'm selling it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're selling it tonight? <laughs> so I think Foam Runners. I mean, if you look at that, was that five? What fifty five? Is that fifty five thousand sold? Yeah. Look at that. Lowest ask one fifty two. Uh, foam runner right now. On, yeah, but on don't they retail for like one fifty? Yeah, exactly. Oh, they're eight. No, they're eighty oh, bucks. 80? Really? One eighty nine. Okay. Oh, I didn't sign. This is uh not gonna show me any data there. Uh, people burning up their Yeezys on social media. Well, there's people buying stuff too. I'm mean, obviously the slides. 103, 110, 91. Oh, retail at 70. Yeah, yeah. Well, like it was like I think it's the worst timing ever because you know where the economy is at. And then this happens. I don't think it's gonna go up that much. Oh, I'm surprised zebra's there already. Zebra 220. Retail, I mean, get a hundred bucks profit. Um, Adidas said they are planning to release his design still with their own branding. Not sure about restock. So, yes, I did see that they own the design. So they yeah, could do so kind of like what they did with the Kobe. Like Kobe. Yeah. yeah. Call it the crazy one. Oh. You know, and not have to use any branding with the Yay crazy like 350. That. The crazy 350. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let me see. Oh, like... You and I, bro, we thought the same. It, it was exactly the same. Uh, let me go back up. Uh, let me see. I sold the infant pairs today. Haven't had any bites on. Uh, so obviously, so some people are buying uh, zebras in the bread 350s going up. Sneakers Envy. Um, let me see. It's Josh Leva. Zebra has been going up. And so, yeah, so I don't know what. Now, as far as Ross Burlington, I'm not going to lie. I could see that happening <laughs> just because, like, Ross Burlington gets some random stuff from time to time that you're like, how did this happen? Why did this happen? They're, I don't know. They're probably, I mean, because, like, uh, the Yeezys did show up, right? Some 350s did show up. Yeah, I think some here. In, oh, I don't know if 350s yeah. ever did. Yeah, did it was they? the Sesame. Yeah, it showed like up. Like super small there. sizes or what? Yeah, and but but like <laughs> He's like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean we don't know. But during that time, what will that look like? What will the sneaker market look like? So here's a question for the chat though. Do you believe that this whole thing, let's say cutting ties there, obviously the things leading up to that with Nike wanting to ban resellers with this yay news? With even like the Zade kicks thing that happened with that whole thing, with backdooring lost and founds, is a sneaker market at this point just out of control to where like the in people are not only gonna lose interest in it or losing interest, but also from the money wise, like B said, the economy where it's at. I think there's a lot of factors now that are coming into play that it's like, where is this thing headed? And are people really gonna care? in 2023 into 2024 and the future also pumping out so many dunks pumping out so many colorways you know how the market is changing on things uh when shoes and sneakers and sneaker collecting and all of that now coming into play so uh let me see yeah that's true i feel like we all need to take a really long vacation in 2023 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hype definitely on decline, but bricks still strong. Sneakers envy. I mean, how many people are watching right now? 96. Low key, we should all go back to where we came from selling. Go back to like Thrift, Burlington, and Ross. I mean, and Ross still trying never, to heat up, but. And we would never have to worry about this crap. <laughs> <laughs> This is all you don't have fault. here's the thing that really I think gets to me the most out of uh I'm not gonna lie to you once we had to do deal more with like authentication on eBay 
I honestly lost kind of like interest on selling shoes. I didn't even sell that many shoes when it came to authentication. I think I'm just tired of, oh, the box has a small rip. Oh, the box has a small dent. Authentication didn't approve this, even though it's real. And like, and then every platform authentication and going through these like extra steps for, for shoes that like, why? Because there could be fakes. Even fakes are going through, even though, you know, any, any of these could approve them. There's, there's no guarantee. There's so many yeah. really, man, fakes used to be really easy. Cool. They have SpongeBob on them. That's a fake. Yeah. Now they're like, man, you can't even tell on a lot of them. You have to really, really know what's going on. And even then, are they real or not? Yeah. No, uh, I mean, I agree. I think, I guess this year we really have, you know, like going back to, I mean, you know, sneaker con and everything like that with all the hype and all the events and stuff like that. You know, I think that's a combination of bug because now you really see it, you know, in action. Um, and I think for the longest time we were kind of like not really attached to it with, again, the basics and what we've did and how we were able to grow a business. And, and there's nothing wrong with, you know, scaling back or going back. I mean, kind of like what you said, right? Like you sell more hats than sneakers now and realizing that, you know, you make, you know, more money doing that than selling sneakers plus minus 10% on market is so much more profitable and it's more sustainable and you're not trying to catch your tail. I think that's the more mature move that we all have to realize and have to make at some point. And I feel like the season and the timing is pushing us to make that decision. Some decision, some point. Well, I think 2020 in general already made people switch into different things or see what's going to work, you know, for them or not. Um, and where they're going to go with their business model. I mean, with Ross and Burlington kind of shut down, there's just kind of like, okay, where do you want to go? Where do you kind of pivot into the next thing and we're here doing lives still talking about it um but burlington and ross heating up again which looks like it's slowly happening but obviously the outlets are also liquidating items as well and like sneakers and we said money to be made on so-called bricks that people are non-hyped about that have always been there and selling mm -hmm. shoes without box, raw stuff has always worked, always came through with over 100% ROI. Yeah, like, like, bro, that's, like that's not going to stop as long as that supply is there. Yeah, now, no. when it wasn't, that's when, of course, we had, you know, pivoting on different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But as far as, like, we've seen hype be sellers buying high to mm -hmm. sell higher, like, yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, you're buying at somewhat smaller margins you know buying a shoe at 350 to sell at 380 like yeah why it's, <laughs> i mean that's hard work <laughs> hard 30 <laughs> bucks to make right um again like i guess at the end of the day too it's like it's not glamorous right like not gonna lie like what two three months ago i bought like 40 pairs of paul george at 39 extra 30 extra 20 and then now <laughs> i'm selling them for 120 almost every day so it's not glamorous but that's what 300 x 300 percent roi yeah so we all have to find that we all have to find that and and those are the things that are not again again are not instagram worthy i guess right oh of course not <laughs> that's why even the channel you know, even selling from the raw stuff and doing all that has never really hit into like a sneaker hype beast sneaker market. Yeah. I don't know, like into that same type of realm because a lot of people, even then when we first did it, they're like, go to Ross, go to Burlington. Like, what is that? Or like, I can't believe like the amount of comments I got in the beginning or DMS were like, Ross is for poor people. Like, why are you, why would you go there? And I'm like, why? Like what is going on here? But yeah. because also during that time, we're talking about like, man, this is where in like Supreme, all that was at the top until where like yeah. people were just flexing everything. It's like you Bad. had to be 
man, like, I don't know what was going on during that time to where you had to be, I guess, like, cool or represented if you were rocking, you know, $300 Supreme tea. Dude, um, it's, not like, it, it's not like I didn't try it. I tried it, you know, like, but the problem is it can't get volume. <laughs> right? Like, you'll hit one or two, and that's it. And then, <laughs> what, you, you, you celebrate two items per week? Like, it's yeah. not going to happen. Uh, let me go up and see uh, what was going on. Man, we haven't even been reading any of these comments. I need to go see. Uh, let me see. Agree, B, 100%. Go on my hat. Inventory easier to ship, too. Lots of vintage that's easy to find. When I talked to Sneakers Envy on the phone, he was just like, I wonder why he's selling a lot of uh, hats. It's just like making the same amount of profit from a lot of the, some of these shoes on something that's way easier to store and ship. Um, but really what it comes down to is also like pivoting in something that you like, but also what can you get a hold of? Like you just said, what can you get a hold of in your inventory? Yep. I mean, if you could have gotten a thousand Supreme shirts, yeah, I mean, of course you not? would have done it. Like, Yeah, right. Exactly. But that's ice cream <laughs> right there. You know, like <laughs> even in the sneakers, right? Like I, I'd love to get a thousand pairs of Travis Scott, you know, reverse mocha low, what? You know, like they were selling it for eight fifty. Yeah. And then you have to take a hundred. I mean, I didn't have that money, right? Like what, make a hundred bucks of a hundred <laughs> pairs and then put out eighty five thousand? Yeah. Uh let me Please. see, dude. Well, I dislike Poshmark, but with eBay now approaching nearly twenty percent on fees without providing the shipping label. So that's the thing that also changed too. I mean, obviously the OGs that have been here, it's kind of like selling cleats, selling um I mean, you could sell you know prestos and whatever Long else and like they wouldn't go to <laughs> they wouldn't go to authentication it's just like brand new without box the buyer's gonna trust a good seller that's on there ship mm -hmm. it straight to them and you're done but because of sneakers and what's been going on and and dealing with fakes also you know trying to compete with each other from StockX, Go, eBay, all the platforms, it's like they all want to fall into that line of like authentication and getting that thing done. And yes, it did slow down from seller to buyer onto a transaction. And maybe if you're getting stuff for yourself, maybe that also slowed you down from wanting to buy. So you're like, maybe I don't want to wait three weeks <laughs> for yeah. it to go through. No, like, like as much as I want the uh, lost and found, I mean, I almost pulled the trigger on StockX, but it was just, it would just take too long. I don't feel like it loses the excitement from the purchase. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to wait to rob somebody and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we're also going to talk about Adidas. Obviously, their stock went down quite a bit. I mean, it was already kind of going down, but they took a hit there. But you also, we also wanted to switch into different news since you did mention uh, whatnot. Is uh Poshmark onto their uh shows, Posh shows, yep. So they're in beta mode right now, yeah. There have been uh, a lot of uh people that have been invited in, and that's where we're heading. So I'm you know, I'm smiling every time a live beta is happening because one of the things that we said in the beginning is at least try it and at least learn it. So if there's another opportunity that comes up of live selling, it's not like we're starting from zero. So looking in here, uh, mystery sale, let's see, tees, leggings. Yep. They've been doing it, the beta, for, I think, a little over a month now. Yeah, Bosch oh, were the ones that got Shoes? Um, invited there first. Mm. And I guess the, when's eBay Live coming, says Pacers. I mean, they're here. They're just cherry-picking people to go. Uh, Linda Stuff did it today. Mm. I think she's the first one to do it with fashion. Um, so, you know, be waiting for that call next year. So my question for the chat, for those that are doing or are selling on Poshmark, like I know Brian sells quite a bit of cleats on Poshmark. Anybody else on Poshmark, will you be doing this? Will you try this or try to get accepted or try to do something like this? Um, watching, I did see this, uh, what was going on, like the difference between Poshmark and whatnot. And right now, the worst thing with Poshmark is like, of course, the same fees apply, which that always comes down to everything, right? Like the 20% fees and like, 
So that coming into play, um, they were saying you can't um, do combined shipping yet on any live shows on Poshmark. Yeah, at least yep, what I've been yep. reading, and I've been trying to get yep. more info on it for that the show. True, that is true. Um, they're also saying that uh, I guess more. I don't know the that do have more buyers though because we're, you're on Poshmark and if you have that building that following and doing all of that you yeah. have a more potential to get more buyers that way rather yeah, than I on whatnot because, which is more reseller based for yeah, the most because, part now. Yeah, because Posh have always set their uh, style of selling based on followers, right? Yeah. Um, so I think for people that have been selling there for at least a year you have to have at least a few following now. And then when you go live, hopefully all those followers get, you know, notified. So I think those are the advantages of them actually being an established platform before going live compared to whatnot. It's a new platform going live off the rip. Big Money Mo, I just got onboarding with whatnot, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do a live. Oh, Big Money Mo on a live? Ooh. Now I'm ready. Oh, man, this boy's ready. We're ready to rob Big Money Mo. <laughs> um, I did see... Hold on, let me see. Let me see the comments. I have more followers on Posh than whatnot. I might have to try it out. Like, I'm not against trying it out at all. I think you should try yeah. it out. I think if, you, yeah. if you've been doing well on Poshmark before, I mean, why not? Um, and I'm not against... Uh, that's a funny thing too. Is like we always see it. We always talk about it too. Like people that sell on Amazon are like, "Man, you're still doing eBay? Man, eBay sucks." People on eBay are like, "What? You're doing what not? Like, why not sucks?" And like to me, I don't understand battles between platforms. If like you should just be doing what's working you for you. Try and if you're if you're all. profitable, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Keep oh, keep crap. building what, what you I just, can do. I just saw my Poshmark account. I got ninety four thousand followers. Oh, look at this guy! He's ready Jeez. to do Posh shows. We ready. <laughs> we ready. <laughs> Sneakers have to be ready to rob. Uh, but do followers on Poshmark really mean anything, says Intramorph? I mean, if they get notified like they do on whatnot, I don't think there's any difference, right? True. I guess also if you specify, I guess if you're in one niche, I mean, yeah, I think yeah. that I mean, would like, really help they you a lot. Like, more than... recognize you, right? Like, oh, it's the, it's the closet because they call it the closet, right? Your closet. So it's the closet that it peak all the time. Now it's going live. So I'm sure it does. Yeah. So who knows? Maybe people in the chat are going to try that out. Um, I don't sell on Poshmark, so I don't really don't know. No. I know B. You got to try, uh, then, you know what I'm saying? Um, what if Mercari does live? <laughs> 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 They're like, hey. <laughs> I actually talked to Mercari at Boss Seller. I was like, uh, can we at least do quantity? <laughs> <laughs> They're not even in quantity yet, Glenn. <laughs> Come on. Come on now. Can we at least get quantity? Yeah. I actually talked to the guy and he's like, yeah, yeah, that sounds like the most requested thing. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, for like five years now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. It's amazing how things sell for different uh, amounts on platforms, but n <laughs> uh, no questions asked. Mercari app is still in beta. <laughs> <laughs> I'll offer up doing the next live. <laughs> Craigslist doing lives. A Poshmark is good for selling bricks above market. Broadway B. I love yeah. selling a Mercari because I can ask more and people do not mind, I guess. Yeah, Mercari is like... Uh, so we, The thing yeah, is, though, we... with Mercari is like... Oh, they were saying that too about Poshmark, sorry, on the live shows, is that uh, there's no instant payout. Not only oh. no options yet, but they're still trying to figure out, I guess, how... Oh, they, they did just get one to, uh, like, I think within the last week that now they can um, get paid through PayPal or some other form. Mm. And it's like instant. Mm, okay. Yeah. But still, I don't think you get, because typically the payout is only through bank or check before. Yeah. So now you could go PayPal or it's pretty much right because like PayPal, you got the card, so you can use it right away. But that that still needs to be delivered or accepted. Yeah, yeah. Um, I there feel like I'm go. the Mercari of resellers. <laughs> Mile high. I feel like I'm the Mercari of resellers. Mile high. That is not true. Many fresh. <laughs> I've been thrifting more lately. 
And that's the thing though too is like that's also a um, uh, a battle between like uh Yeah. new and new and use. I'm like, dude, if thrifting's working for you, if garage selling's working for you, if you're making a profit, I'd rather you make a profit than not make a profit. I saw I saw a guy did a video on whatnot saying how about whatnot that he went on whatnot. He had three people watching and he didn't sell anything. He tried selling a couple of items. They didn't sell. He got kind of discouraged and he was done. And for me, I feel like, man, I'd rather have gone on, tried it, not sell something than to go on and lose a ton of money. Yep. You know, I mean, at least you're giving it a shot. And if it didn't work out, I mean, at least you didn't lose your ass on a bunch of items if that's not working out. So trying what works for you, maybe the Poshmark one will do well. Maybe it won't. Who knows? But I would say give it a shot. Maybe you're not built for whatnot. Maybe you're built for Posh. There we go. Let me see. Was that a sound bite? No. That sounded like like uh, up. Yeah, like doom. It sounded like you like hit someone over the head with like a mallet or something. Dude, uh, it's my flip flop hitting the pole of my table. Oh, Oh, man, this is bad. This is like bad. Yeah, I thought I was too nice of a mic. You're like, maybe you're meant for Poshmark. (laughs) (laughs) Doom. I was like, damn, (laughs) this boy just roasted. Maybe you're meant for Poshmark. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, See, now that sounds more Poshmark. All right, here we he go. Was masking a fart. <laughs> oh <laughs> crap! Like, oh now I know that this is that sensitive. I'm gonna be like, oh, excuse me, guys. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, sneaker releases. Before we go, oh man, bees are gonna leave right now. We were just yeah. talking about reselling. We just got lost. Uh, let's see, North Carolina A and T. More inspired dunks this week. One twenty. That one came out yesterday, actually. Trash. Uh, we're trash. going quick. LeBron to Midnight Navy. Trash. Which we talked about this one last week. Yeah. Glenn, come on. What are you come doing? Now? <laughs> that, they're, they're late again. They oh, came out again. this morning. They're not even going to be in for Halloween. Halloween pack. There we go. Yeah, they're dropping tomorrow. They expect everybody to get overnight shipping. <laughs> Hundred plus one Baker brand, hundred percent. Yeah, we got sneakers like all buddy. night. Sneakers envy. You gotta be there. You gotta save me <laughs> from getting robbed. <laughs> Stray rats, New Balance. See some of the New Balance out there. Would you rock any of these? Two different Trash. colorways. Damn, one sixty. He's dead. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Intramorph. <laughs> oh, made in the USA. Seasonal pack. No. No. Okay, what do I have to do to show you new releases that you're going to like? Rebox? You want Rebox? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Complex, come on. Okay, Starfish, Jordan 1 Women's. Quality on this one's good. Hey, yeah, quality does look good. Good. Like This is like I a held... this is like a browns colorway. Look at that. I've held it in hand. It's good. Oh, held in hand. Very yeah, nice. Put it up. Put black laces. Come on. Bengals, let's go. Bengals. <laughs> Wait, is this brown or black? It's brown. It's brown. Oh, it's, it's like brown. it's burnt orange, like really burnt. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh the Midnight Navy, which we talked about this one last time, how like uh Cowboys fans, the Edgars mm-hmm. with their jean shorts. Yeah, yeah. Their this will put jersey. the flints to rest. Yeah, <laughs> ready to rock these. So at least they got a Jordan 4. Two yeah. uh 210. What's a re- did we even check resale on this one or this one already? I think they're at 300 already. Sub three. Let's see. Oh, yeah, right at three, three for the yeah. most part. Right at three. See, the, here's my issue. You think this will do better than Canvas? I actually think they will do better than Canvas. They will. This is kind yeah. of, I guess, because of the white Oreo. Yeah. Right. Okay. I, I believe fair. So. That's fair. And Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> only when they're winning, though. Yeah. Yeah. They start losing. Don't push it now. Cowboys four. There you go, Josh Leva. Strictly for resale on those fours for me, Rory, Matt. 
Uh, let me see. Well, isn't all this those. like Black Friday? No, I mean, close to Black. This is not Black Friday. This is already next yeah. week. Yeah, this is already in two days. Oh, this... Crap. <laughs> yeah, days are going by quick. You have so many things scheduled on whatnot. This guy doesn't even know what day it is. <laughs> You've been going out. Of... This guy's been super busy. He's been out of town, taking selfies. I know. I try. Sneaker cons. That's a neutral color, so yeah, too legit. See, there we go. For the rowdy boys. All right, B, I think you're good to go. Yep. We're going to go join you right now in 14 minutes, so you got to hurry. See you in a bit. All right, see ya. Um, So let's see some of the finds. We're not done yet. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, remove, and let's see if we can add. Let's see. He's becoming too famous for us as Pacers. That boy's famous out there. Uh, let me see. Share screen. Hold on. Hold on. All right, here we go. About the <laughs> sneakers envy. Becoming too rich and famous now, Eric D. Does B have a company jet for all these events now? He should at this point. He's a spokesman for... How do you become a spokesman for eBay and whatnot? How does that happen? <laughs> Conflicting. Nope. Not for this guy. He's a free agent. Talk about both. Don't forget us about us little people, B. He says too legit. Okay, so what's out there right now? Looks like cleats. Definitely people have been eating on the cleats. Funky finds. Uh, cleats and also who else? L.A. Gonzalez, too, eating on the cleats. More cleats. Uh, Leva. Also on the Vans hats. And the golf. A little mix. There we go. He's a consultant. <laughs> there we go. Um, also on the pants, Bam 24 kicks. So I'm not going to lie. I actually did keep these. But then they do make a loud swooshing noise. I feel like George Costanza, the pants swooshing. So I was like, hmm. And at first they felt kind of like really baggy too. But I've been rocking them. We'll see how long. Or what I decided to do with them. <laughs> uh, sourcing code. Here we go. Let's see. 130. 100 plus 30. So a lot of uh, in-bin sales right now. I've been going to the outlets. Obviously, Big Money Mo has been. And the uh, ACG. Man, no sale on that one. Just straight up 160. Of course, the recycled on the Air Force One, 90 plus 30. 130 on the Air Force One. One, man, really? You're going to do one per customer on this? 50 minus 30? I mean, yeah, people are going to buy because they're cheap, but I can understand on a retro. And uh, 80 bucks minus 30 off on the LeBrons. 110 minus 30 also on the LeBron 9. A little fuzzy. Oh, man. These are even at the outlets. Extra 20. Special box and all. Let me see. One per cop. There you go. SA. A lot of Disney Vans. Oh, found a Disney Vans hoodie. There we go. Uh, one Disney hats of each of the Ross stores and Palma. All right. Uh, Mile High Hustle. I thought this was dope. Cosmic Unity on the samples. Could they have been ADs? Yeah, it could have been a chat. I mean, because AD did rock these and with the Laker colorway. So, Mile High Hustle. Any more info on this if you're still here? Rashard, those twos at the outlet I need. Big Money Mo. Yeah, 90 and 30 and 20 right now. Uh, Broadway B on the luggage. Anybody else still picking up the luggage? Are they selling well or not on some of the character ones? I know the Star Wars one, the Disney ones, the Mickey ones. They were doing good. Definitely AD. Sample pair his size. Backwall. Jose Hustles. 90 extra 30. 97s. Air Force One on the women's. Uh, let's see more Ross finds, spliffing for funds on the cleats. 
and the Hirachi on the uh, baseball. Lots of folks saying they could be Texas promo, not sample my high hustle. Uh, let me see. Next, we got, oh, Mile High again. On the finds, Ross and Burlington, polo jackets. Burger shirt. Broncos, let's ride. Salute to service. Retail at 100. Man City, 25. Oh, Nuggets. That's a dope Nuggets hat. And 35 in the retail. All right, let me see. Flipping Kicks. Patrick Ewing. Vans, flipping for funds. 20 bucks, of course, on the Mickey Kid Shoe. <laughs> Rory Matt. Uh, polo jacket again, flipping for funds. 150, 600 on the retail. Buy cost 150, sold for 350, flipping for funds. Burlington undercutting Glenn's hat business. Come on, Burlington. Keep those prices high. What are they doing? <laughs> Keep them high like the jackets. 100 bucks on jackets. 129 jackets. Uh, Cartful, football, and more. Flipping for funds again. Trojans turf shoes for 20, sold for 200. Look at that. USC. I have not seen any of these on the turfs. Richard, look at that on the GT, 60, size 5. Hey, small sizes still do well. I would still pick up any of these, any size. Anthony Davis, Puma. Oh, man, D. Rose, Explosion, and, of course, the Disney on the Vans. Uh, let's see... Air Max 90, 25. Oh, very nice. Tense finds. Was it like a Tiffany colored jacket? A little mix? Tense finds. Marat's been dead the last two weeks. Yeah, I think um, there was another one I wanted to show. Oh, that was Ellie Gonzalez, I think, also found these. Very nice on the up tempo. Air Zoom Victory. So if you find a good size out there, definitely be picking these up. Uh, Club America. Extra small, though. 40 bucks. A lot of the uh, Vapor Knit has been showing up on the jerseys. Different soccer out there. Jordan Jacket. Wind Horse. A men's small. Uh, let me see. Nomad Expert. Four and a half in men's, 50 bucks. 50. Looks like he, uh, Los Angeles jacket, 50 bucks. Burlington, 130 retail. The Adidas jacket as well. Uh, track spites are for sure big sellers, worn by U.S. Olympic track team. More of the cleats. L.A. Gonzalez again. Superfly 7 Pro. And let me see, Air Max 90. Kick 07. The Olympic Jackets out there, Hustle Crow. 450 retail, they're 100 bucks. Uh, A CLS resells. Hey, Grizzlies hats? What's going on here? Ten bucks? There's a down on clearance. Polo everywhere. Sold my soul. On uh, Cruise and Jackets. Ross and TJ Maxx. I saw the Mickey Vans. Took a pic. Forgot to cop. Nomad Expert. 
And oh, Barcelona, Satan Hustler. See more of the uh, vapor in it. So it looks like 40 is the price they're going with. Unless you find a really good size, I have been seeing more like the small and extra small in different teams. And uh, Alex also with the cleats. Hey, with box. Kyrie's and looks like little foam posits and Hirachi's. Polo at TJ and Marshall's always. Nomad expert. 100 on the jacket. Found a small for 40. Let's see. This one 2X, 250 retail. And 100 on the Burlington price. So 2X. Yeah, Burlington, definitely higher price on the jackets. 100 might be the lowest I think I've seen. 129. I think 139, 149. Yeah, Burlington beefing up those jacket prices. All right. Found the three vapor knits. They are 40. Sneaker flip find. So, yeah, Ross has definitely been a little slower lately. Um, vapor knit jerseys, more of the cleats, more of the track. Um, and some of the college exclusive, like the React and things like that. But I haven't seen too many out there. So... All right, anything else before we go? Uh, before we watch the B right now, he's going to go live in three minutes. I'm going to eat some dinner. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. I mean, I'm going to try to see what I could do for uh, Friday on a video, see what we can get uploaded, ready to go. And I think that's it. We talked about all the other news that we needed to. We started getting deeper into the reselling thing. Hey, I can express my feelings on authentication. B is a spokesman for eBay. He can't. I can. Sent you an email. Appreciate that, David. I'll definitely look at that. Bucks are winning, by the way. Uh, let me see. Do I have any more info on free FedEx shipping? Um, nothing yet. But I should. We should bring the B in so he can talk. He can tell us. <laughs> Don't get hangry. Yeah, we can't have that. Ross, slower, but some things popping up. Burlington got them hats. Cleats selling for me quick. Very surprised. Rory, Matt. There we go. Sneaker flip fine. Hit that like button. 100%. All right, guys. Done. We'll go watch the B. And, oh, Suns will still welcome you on the back. Oh, mile high. Come on. I'm a Dolphins fan. I have I don't know how much more pain and suffering um, really can affect me at this point. I mean, I've been following a losing team for so long that watching the Lakers lose, I'm like, well, I've seen everything. So I'll just write it out. I <laughs> uh, appreciate that, Rory, Matt. Yes, sir. Found some Air Max 90, 90s today, too legit. My high, good point. All right, guys, we are done. I appreciate it hanging out 105 people still here and uh yeah oh spurs three and one funky finds there we go not a dumpster fire like my texans yeah dolphins play texans soon so those are trap games for us we always fall for those games so i don't trust anything all right go ahead and get it see ya <laughs>